Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. B and I'm here to show you a really cool lesson for all the kids out there. Today we're going to be doing some finger painting. We're going to be using our finger with watercolour paints to create little spots. Then using our creativity to turn those spots into little animals. This is a fantastic lesson for the littlest of artists like kids at preschool and they can use their finger to do finger painting and just some simple lines to create animals. Otherwise, it could also be adapted for older kids and turn it into a full-on picture that is all connected together and uses fantastic painting skills. If you haven't already, please go to the At Art Life Art Lessons Facebook page or at artlife.mel Instagram page they're both my ones and they're linked to my art lessons so please feel free to follow me there and post any photos of some cool stuff that you've been doing. All you'll need for this very simple and fun finger painting task is some watercolour paints, a sharpie or some sort of pen to draw with and some plain paper. So here we are. I'm going to show you how to create a few different objects and animals simply out of doing some finger painting. And it's a fantastic lesson for even the youngest of artists. It's really fun. Obviously they're using their finger, so they're getting a little bit messy with it, um, but it really is simple and easy to do. So here we go. The first thing I've done is wet my watercolor palette just so that the paints are nice and ready to use. And firstly, I'm just going to do a few examples randomly on my page. I'm gonna do some different fingerprinting and then later we'll draw over the top to show you exactly what they could become. So some of the fingerprinting uses multiple prints. Maybe you can start to consider what they could become. Some of you might already know what this one is. Sometimes you need to use your whole finger. Sometimes it's just a little spot like that, depending on, of course, what we're making, which I will reveal later. might notice that I'm wiping my finger each time just on a tissue because otherwise the colors will mix together and go a little bit gross. So please take note when I'm putting my finger on the side, it might be like that or it might be up this way. It all depends on the shape of the creature that I'm trying to create. So that's my basic fingerprinting at the moment. Feel free to pause on this screen if you wish to do the same thing. Now we need to let the watercolour dry completely. We're going to be drawing some details over the top just with some sort of fine liner or marker and we need this paint to be completely dry. Okay guys, so my finger painting blobs are now completely dry. So it's time to actually turn these little random blobs of color into pictures. And so you might already be able to imagine or see some pictures that these could become, but I might work away now at turning these little splodges into the pictures I've imagined them to be. Now I'm gonna keep these super simple because this lesson is designed for the littlest of artists. I 
I think this is a great introduction for a task with really little ones to help them to use their creative mind. Maybe you could do this to show them what they could create and then they need to come up with a few of their own. The possibilities are endless and the amount of detail that you can add is endless too. I can go back into this butterfly here and create some shapes that add some symmetry and detail to this gorgeous little pink butterfly. How are we going so far? All right, we've done the ones in the sky. I'm now going to create a little pond area down here. Might give you an idea what these guys are. Here's my pond. our little pond section now. Now for some land animals. picture makes sense by doing a bit of a horizon line here some rolling hills in the background to complete our outside farm sort of picture you could also get the students or yourself to go in and fill in any spaces that you think need some more color you could do this with crayon or you could go back and get your watercolors and use a tiny little brush like what i'm using to add some more detail to your gorgeous little fingerprint animals here so really the fingerprint just helps as a starting point for the younger ones and is a really great activity to get them to imagine what they can see It's important to note that I used a waterproof pen when drawing. If you're going to go back in, especially with watercolours, you do need to make sure that the pen is waterproof, otherwise it will blend and bleed out all the black all over the entire page, probably ruining it. So please don't do that. So it's as simple as that. I really hope you've enjoyed doing some finger painting and drawing today, as well as a little bit of watercolour painting if you choose. Please feel free to share your photos at the Facebook Art Life Art Lessons Facebook page. Thanks for joining me.